welcome to Brighton Road Apartments. This is one of the rehabs that the maintenance and construction team is currently undertaking within Burgo. Uh, if you look behind me, um, this building um, is in the middle of Brighton Heights. Uh, we're on Brighton Road. Uh, this is a 19 unit apartment complex um, that Burgo has actually had not, hadn't operated since 2017. Um, in the midst of that time, we've operated as just a normal operation. Um, but in the past six months, we decided to rehab the building and all 19 units inside. Um, and this will showcase that process. So with me, I have Dan Lombardo, our project coordinator, and Jim Lowry, our Western PA foreman. Um, both played key aspects into this rehab and both, both played very unique roles in what they need to do to make sure that we got this building up and running within a timely manner. Uh, so we're here in the basement of Brighton Road Apartments. As you can see, this is one of the last portions of the rehab that we still have to complete. Um, I have Jim Lowry with me. And so Jim, kind of what was your role within this project and how did it go? My role was primarily coordinating uh, the boiler installations, uh, the radiator installations, all plumbing repairs, plumbing installations, any demo work outside or inside, um, any electrical work that needed to be done we had to contract an electrical contractor to come in and do um, and getting any materials here that needed to be here on a daily basis yeah so what was the biggest problem you ran into these past few months uh mostly the plumbing repairs because there were just so many of them that popped up day to day as you went from one area to another in the building so that was Yep, so Jim manages a team here at, at Burgo that includes uh, tradesmen, crew leaders, um, and, and everywhere in between. So while there is a separate contractor who is completing the rehab, the hanging of the cabinets, the finishing of the floors, um, our maintenance and construction team through Jim is overlaid within that project. Um, so we had plumbers in here, um, we had masons in here, we had demo people in here um, that were part of maintenance and construction, not the um, contractor overlaying um, certain aspects of the rehab. So I'm here with Dan Lombardo in one of our finished units um, on this project. Um, and Dan, what, what was your role in this project and what issues did you come up against? Yeah, so my main role was uh, simply the procurement of a lot of the products that we see here, all the appliances, all the fixtures, um, things like that, toilets. Um, and then a, a, a main struggle that we kind of had uh, with this specific project was that we use some, some more unique fixtures, some of the, you know, in the good, better, best, we use some of the better products that I hadn't previously sourced. Um, a lot of the black fixtures, which look really nice, but were just a little bit more difficult to source. And then the fact that we had to do 19 units all at once versus the typical three to six, um, I then had to make sure that we had the right amount of products at the right time. Um, and in this, this project, it was, it was more about hitting the day than uh, just having the product. Yeah, so our maintenance and construction team um, mostly does rehabs internal. Um, so Dan works with our assigned turn specialists on other properties such as Landmark, Maple at East, our new Sinatra portfolio. Um, and this rehab was unique in that we had a third party contractor working alongside our own staff. Um, so Dan, what was it like to work with a third party contractor as, as own or, or not internal staff? Um, yeah, so uh, a lot of stuff got done a lot faster since there was more people doing it at one time. Um, but the communication, both um, the fact that they're not internally Burgo uh, employees and also just a bit of the uh, language barrier that we face in this industry. Um, it, it made things a little bit more difficult, but uh, we got through in the end. Burgo Realty is all about improving lives through real estate. And that's exactly what we did here on this property. Um, so in this rehab, um, we have gone through the process of making sure that every problem that existed within this property was taken care of during this rehab. Um, this means that the boilers are functioning and operating at full capacity. This means that the radiators are putting out enough heat so it's not overheating a unit or it's not underheating a unit. This means redoing wiring and making sure that all electrical is safe for tenants to live in. Um, this means that we redid ceilings because um, we were actually in the news for a collapsed ceiling for this property and that's not something we want to go through again. Um, so a lot of care and attention was taken into this rehab to ensure that not only are we um, maintaining the property that we own, but we're also caring for the community that our tenants live in um, and the safe and well-being while they live in our property. 